Yeah, yeah, people, what's up out there? The legendary, extraordinary, and the very necessary Derek D. Angeletti. All hip hop. You know how we do, baby. It's for the culture. What's going on, everybody? It's your man Chuck Creekman, aka Jigsaw, here with my man yes. DJ Thorough. Yes. We got a special guest today from Two Kings in a Cipher. Two Kings, oh, he's old oh, man. Two bad boy, <laughs> to the mad rapper, to the, yeah. the hitman, yeah. all the way now with Black Rob's Life Story 2. Yes, sir. Mm. D. Dot Angeletti. Angeletti. What's good? What's yes, goody? Uh, to the family. How Thank you? How home. you? Thanks for coming through. We appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, up, we, we, we appreciate that solution. For real. You know, we've been talking for a minute now. Yeah, yeah. We've been, we been talking for a minute. Um, How you get my number? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I had your number. I've been had your number. You know what I mean? Get you with the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, first of all, let's just go right to the to the Black Rob album. You know, I was giving you giving your respect. Now, before I was giving you your respect, you know, my little hip hop circles and all that, you know, we just throw music back and forth. And they was like, yo, this Black Rob album is all right. I was like, yo, let me go check it out. As soon as I did, I think before I did, because the recommendations were strong. You know, these are strong recommendations. I don't even think I had to hear it. I just had to hear the cosign. Gotcha. And then I hit you. And then I started listening. Wow, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's, we, you know, you doing your thing, you and your crew, everybody had a part of it. So oh, talk yeah. to us about what it means to put this album out. Um, Black Rob, rest in peace. Well, first, thank you for having me, everybody. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all. Um, you know, my dude was, he was a treat. You know, he was a special MC. you know what I mean? And I just don't think the world heard him the way they should have. <clears throat> and in this hip hop time, he didn't really get the fanfare in his death that other MCs have got. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's no disrespect to them. It's just they deserve whatever they got. But hip hop kind of focused in on like two or three and, you know, they're the iconic ones. And then, but to me, that was my guy and he was special, you know? Mm -hmm. And because, you know, Puff was a special dude at Bad Boy. He saw something in him, so I was blessed to be there at the time. So I just felt, as a friend, he's my friend, let me let the world hear him. Uh -huh. So his uh, his manager, Jamal Mosley, Jay Grant, shout out to him. You know, about two, three years ago, I just approached him and said, you know, I, I think I want to do a BR album. Uh -huh. It's right before BR died. Uh -huh. And then he passed. Uh -huh. So I said, let's keep going. Right. So then, you know, I got a producer friend named Riz Deluxe in Philly he was you know ill with it he's on the album he's on five songs on the album I asked him yo you know in your spare time let's let's start this thing and it started avalanching into oh man this is not some just 10 songs I'm gonna scrape up a couple vocals and do some beats it was I felt back in my zone like I'm gonna make me an album I listen to everything that comes out I got daughters they listen to the trap to the rock to the mm -hmm. R&B they listen to the all the new girls, all the new boys, mm. all, she, they listen to all that. So I hear all that. But I don't hear albums. I just hear songs. Just, mm -hmm. and, yes. and, and all of them, you know, even in our era, everybody don't make great songs. So, you know, but I don't hear a lot of great songs. I hear good songs. Mm -hmm. And some not good at all. Right. But I don't hear albums that I can listen to. And even from the dudes that claim they rappers. Yeah. Right. True. And they claim they come and we influence them. Their albums is trash. Right. They make good or right songs or the tempos are like this. <laughs> I said, you got to sample that. Yo, oh, yeah. that shit is like, <laughs> yeah. who y'all making records for? Yeah. So I know me and BR, we had that bop. You know what I mean? So I got all my crew together. I called up the old hitmen. Mm -hmm. Not the old hitmen. I called up the hitmen, you know, Nasheem, Ron, and Carlos, and Stevie J, and then Bad Boy Fam came through, Faith, Black mm -hmm. Thor came through. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, some Harlem people, Smoke Dizza and, and Dizza. Brooklyn came through, Joel Ortiz, out Chauncey and LV from Harlem. So one day I was out in LA during 2023 and LV was working with this young lady named Nakia Gold. And she was singing her ass off in the studio one day. So I said, yo, can you write a hook for me or something for this Black Rob thing? And they got to work for me. So they sh they did it, they did they they did their thing. So she did her thing. So a lot of people came through, a lot, yeah. a lot of producers and, and, and people came through Buck Wild. Yeah, so I, uh, Buck, salute the you know. Buck. While he just did Az's whole project. Yeah, I just spoke to him a little while ago. Yeah, too, so. salute the Buck. And as I'm sure I left, you know, I'll be naming people. Cali Ranks and different people came through along the line. We'll talk about it. But right. people came through and showed love. Unfortunately, it didn't get the fanfare. It dropped Friday, November third. But 
I you needed, keep working. I, I needed to get it out, and I needed yeah. people to know that this is what Derek Angeletti does. This yeah. is what D-Dot does. I make albums. I try to make the best songs I can. I try to put my best foot forward, and I tried to represent BR as if he was here. Yeah. Right. I, hope, I hope it didn't sound dated. You know, that was my wish. So, I, I was going to ask you that. Um, yeah. Obviously, being that Black Rob has passed away, so was yeah. it difficult to put these songs together? Or were they already like pre-recorded? And you just took the vocals and redid the beat, or how did how did, how did you put it together? It was a combination of all that. It okay. was old verses from old records. Okay. It was a verse here or something he might have referenced for you know Bad Boy, somebody a Bad Boy or something, and it was me just figuring out what did I want to say. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I still got a whole nother album. We still wow. Got 15, I'm unreleased stuff. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so okay. we're coming back in 2024. Wow. God willing for his birthday with Till Death Do His Part. Nice. Okay. But I needed to set y'all up with this to see if, you know, who cares? Like, mm -hmm. do y'all really care? Right. Because mm -hmm. if y'all listening into that other stuff, and some of my constituents, some of the dudes I even worked with in the past, mm -hmm. you listened and I listened, and I tell them to their face, not hot. Right. It hasn't been hot. Mm -hmm. They know it. Mm -hmm. So I said, not saying mine's is hot, because right. of course I'm going to be on my own dick. Right. But... Let's do an AB. Let's do a comparison. Let's do a Coca Pepsi. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Y'all tell me. And mm -hmm. I'm just asking. I'm willing to take the criticism too. Yeah. But I'm listening. It ain't like I'm in some bubble somewhere not listening. I'm right. listening. I'm just saying, here's an album. Right. But some people are not driven like that now. They're driven by a job or looking relevant or, hey. you know. Just then don't speak on other people then. Yeah. Right. Then move the way you move. <laughs> And don't don't be out here having shows where y'all get to comment on people's shit. Then y'all drop shit, and they know who I'm talking to. Mm. Right. And then y'all drop trash. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Rappers to commentators mm. with opinions. Mm. Mm. And then y'all music is trash. Mm. Right. Maybe you should sit back and not give your opinion so much. Mm. And they know who I'm talking to. Some of these dudes are my friends. Right. Right. With shows on television now. Yeah. Right. And you got the nerve to comment. Mm. On other people's. Well, who are you talking about? I don't well, know. They know who they are. Okay. Okay. When I call them my friends. Yeah. With shows where they comment on people's lives. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Understood. They know who they are. Yeah. There's no need for me to blow them up. Okay. So what are what are people saying about Black Rob? Like, what are they talking about? Hmm. You know, cause. Well, let me frame that out a little bit. Yeah. Let me fr <laughs> let me frame that out. Yeah. So I felt horrible when he passed, right? And all hip hop, I'll say this, all hip hop posted a picture of him in a in a bad state, mm -hmm. right? But it upset me that he died that way. And I don't I don't know if I posted to someone else, but either way, a lot of people was like, "Yo, take that down." You probably hit me and was like, "Take please take that down." And I and I did. But at the same time, I was like, yo, he didn't deserve that. Y'all need to, I felt like people needed to see what was not properly done. In his, in, in, and I, I get he's a man, et cetera, et cetera. You know, especially like people like him, DMX, et cetera, et cetera. But it hurt me. You know, I didn't think he deserved that. Um, may, maybe, I don't know. Like, but it, it hurt me. Um, so I don't know if that's a question a statement, whatever that is. But I know that he was misunderstood, too. You yeah, know. he was misunderstood. He definitely was misunderstood. But it was also, some of that was self-inflicted. Let's be yeah. real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all, all of us, we write our own narratives. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what I was just trying to say. Yeah. So if you're writing your narrative and you fall and falter and make mistakes, yeah. how do you comment on other people's mm -hmm. posts? Mm -hmm and mistakes right and claim we're all human uh -huh. mm -hmm. let me fall don't say nothing about it <laughs> right but when you fall full blast full blast yeah. right full blast <clears throat> right yeah i wish a nigga would yeah right that's what i'm saying gotcha so black raw was misunderstood and that's why the purpose of this project for me was listen to him mm -hmm. and hear why yeah. right he was and a maybe, and maybe you get he was a great though. He was a great. He was a me. great. And I feel like you know I'm a very humble dude, but I feel like I'm a great. Yeah, you so, of course. So greats united, right? Because I feel like when I'm looking at this trend of rapper producer going on, where would me and him have, where would me and him have fit in if he was here? Right. Mm. It would have been fire. It might have been, but I know I would have bet on myself, like he said, bet on black. Mm -hmm. Right. Like CeeLo. 
Yeah. Do you remember the first time you met Black Rob? I, I do. What was um, that like? But it, uh, whew, I met him through Yogi, the okay. crew. Mm, crew, who's on the crew? Uh, BX. Yeah, BX. BX, uh, baby. Uh, they were that they, album, they, that first They were uptown. working on their album, mm -hmm. and I was working with Tracy Lee. Okay, mm -hmm. shout out to Tracy, Tracy, Tracy Lee. Tracy Lee, right? And Mark Pitts, who managed both mm -hmm. groups, got them together. Okay. And so when I got to the studio, there was a guy named Bacardi Rob. Right. And I knew exactly why they called him that as soon as I walked in the room. <laughs> uh, like, you know, this is crazy. What up, fella? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Little pint of Hennessy. A dub, right. that's it. Cause you know, it took him a minute, you know, and he put it down. Right. And he pen out his lyrics. He wrote really neat. He always had a book, yeah. it was really neat. Everything yeah. was really neat. Yeah. Well, nah, he had, wasn't sloppy. He mm. carried a little book with him. All he needed was this mm -hmm. and, and a little 20 mm. and two Phillies or three Phillies. Right. He was on. He was on. And I said, yo, like he's authentic. Yeah. Everything about him. And I, Asked more about him and learned that you know he was a real Harlem, right. Spanish Harlem like type of mm -hmm. known, but known for what I was like, oh, he's a right. criminal. Oh, okay. <laughs> then the, then the, then the, all the other shit start coming. I was like, oh, okay. And then fast forward, bad boy times. I wasn't there. I was on the road with Mary J. Blige, mm -hmm. and then I come back and Puff said, oh, I think I'm gonna do that black bra dude. Mm. Right mm. in my alley. Right, right. But he wasn't ready for prime time yet. He was right. still he was raw. He was still raw and in the streets. Yeah, yeah, in the streets. And his squad wasn't really yet they weren't ready for prime time. That's why it took him so long to develop. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know. So that's why he even though he was signed before all of us. Mm. Wow. He's the locks and all of them. Mm. Oh, he was signed before all of them. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. I ain't he either. wasn't ready for prime time. Learn something every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he helped save Bad Boy. He after Big Pass. Oh, after Big after Pass. Big pass. I mean, Is that fair yeah. to say? I don't, I, you know, save bad boy. I would say. It. Keep, keep I, I was. I would say he. He. he the Continue. baton was passed. And he didn't. Baton. He didn't lose the lead. Right. Mm -hmm. In a four by four. Got you. You know you right. can pass the baton and that person fucked the whole flow up. Yeah. He right. kept True. the flow going. Right. Yeah. When his when his number was called. Right. 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 When his number was called. He stood up. Right now. Now with this project, this new project, did you reach out to anybody and they declined to work? Oh yeah, a bunch of people. And were you? Who are those people? They know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of your album. They know who they, they are. They know who they are. <laughs> oh, they know who you. <laughs> they know who they are. Black Rob's friends. Yeah. They, they declined. Yeah, Black Rob's, you know, friends, rapper friends. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't decline. They didn't. They do didn't it. say no. They didn't do it. They just didn't, didn't find run. the time in two years. Mm. In two years, okay. Two years, yeah. Translation. They know they yeah. Yeah. Okay. I learned at my lowest peak, man. At my lowest place, you know who your friends are. When you when you down, what they say? Go broke, say no, and you'll find out who's really yeah, there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Even pretend to go broke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Pretend. Yeah. Let me yeah. see. So, let me see something. So so with my man, it was just like you know I'm from the school. I fuck with who fucks with you. Mm -hmm. Right. That's just yeah. Right. Who supports you? Yeah, I just fuck with fucks with you. So the people you see on there are the people that. That fucked with us. That fucked with us. Now you got okay. you got you got Diddy, Puffy, you got Puffy on there. He fucked with us. He, he did. Okay. Him. Okay. You know, so I called him up. I said, "Do I have your permission? Mm. Your blessing?" He said, "Go for yours, brother." Okay. That's, That's what's it. up. One, one thing about me and Puff's relationship is black and white. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't want to do something, he'll say no. Mm -hmm. And if he does, we do it. There's no bullshit me, no none of that. Right. That's one. That's why we still have the great relationship to this day. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Let me just run that down. Yeah, run it down. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. You got Sway on here. Yep. Yeah, love. Always. G Depp. Yeah. From jail. From mm -hmm. jail. Wow. Salute to G Depp. Shout, Salute. Shout out to him. Kid Capri. Love. Black Mr. Thought. Oh, G Black Thought. Love. Black Thought. Faith. Faith and Stevie J on the same song. Faith and Stevie. That's family <laughs> love. Yeah. Fizzy. That's my girl. Forever. Got a couple, a couple folks I'm not gonna mention because I don't know them off top. Smoke okay. Dizzer, you know Smoke Dizzer. G. Depp, Brayon Isaac. Let's mention Brayon Isaac. Okay. Let's go back to that. Okay. Brayon Isaac is my family. He's my cousin, but okay. he's also a mega producer. He just produced the Bong record for Cardi B, and, uh -huh. and that's him on the hook. On the okay. Hook. And he's okay. done Flow Rider hits and all that. So that's my blood yeah, let's cousin. Mention him. Brayon, Brayon yeah. Isaac. Yeah. Smoke uh, Dizzer's on there. G. Depp is on there. Contributor. Joel, yeah. Ortiz. Joel Ortiz. Yogi is that from Crew? Yeah. Yogi. Oh. From oh. Crew. Yeah. He Yogi. He, he did the he did the Kid Capri joint. He produced it. Yeah. And he's on the last very next to last that. song, and he's on the interlude at the end with Black Rob. So Yogi is family. Yogi has always been a real, you know. You know, like I said, everybody that's on the Cali ranks was on the, the Life right. Story one. Mm -hmm. Reached out to him. It was like, 
just you, you don't need nothing else. Right. Buck it's, Wild. You yeah. know how many beats you need. Right. Nasheem, Ron. Right. You know Sean C L V. Follows mm -hmm. Brody is like how much do you need? Right. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Riz, all my all my people. You know. Shout out to L N X Music. They on there too. You know my boys. Right. Grand Grandmaster Kaz and Blake Winners. Family. Yeah. Blake Winners is a singer songwriter from Philly. Very talented. Mm -hmm. He just wrote a, a number one song for. Uh, Gilly's daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so. He's, he's on his way out there. Yeah. So, you know, and like I said, I just, they fuck with me, I fuck with you. Yeah, right. that's for sure. That's it. It's that simple. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, now how's this been released? Um, it's is very it, released. It was released independently, independently through Crazy Cat, through Sony, and whatever. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You know my man, Lamar. Mm -hmm. Lamar Lagat, yeah. So, you know, he hooked me up up there, so. It's independent. It didn't have a lot of fanfare, not a lot of marketing and promo money. But it's streaming everywhere. It's streaming everywhere. Okay. And it's word of mouth. It's and it's just, you know, it's, it's, if you love BR, like he said, like they said he right. love you. So, yeah. You love D-Dot, you love Phantom right. work. let's go. So basically with this album, you found out who actually loves him and who don't. Is Hopefully, that fair to say? Well, once they hear it. see. No, like, I'm saying in terms he, of the artists you asked to get on this project or in terms of the people that say oh they, yeah oh yeah they yeah, rock yeah, with yeah yeah it don't, found, it don't take two years to do right 16. you found out who's really yeah you yeah. know who really and i'll say that to them it don't take two years to do a 16. right right just don't okay I, I, it doesn't it doesn't no it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it's a, that's a fact so they know who they are okay <laughs> <laughs> right yeah they know who they are. I hope that's they, the first segment. Put, I, hope, I hope we blew that first yeah. segment up. First right, segment. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm check out called. They know who they are. Yeah, yeah, they know who they are. Yeah, you know, no so, need to blow them. Okay, let's move so on. I deal with them personally. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, what do you think about hip hop now? You mentioned albums versus singles. Um, this is obviously 50 years. Mm. Um, Let me. Can I correct you? Not album versus singles. The word singles. I meant just a collection of songs mm. that you just make into an album. Right. right. And right. they have no cohesiveness. No cohesiveness. Right. They just wrapped on them. You just, yeah. you know, and, and like I said, they're, they're sleepy, you know, syrupy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know what I mean? Um, that's what I mean. I don't mean singles, because singles are, if you put out a record and you put some effort behind it and you do what you're supposed to do, that's a single and you know good luck on that right yeah you know mm. it's, it's, it's i'm saying but when you want if you're putting out a project and it's 15 on there is there a story is it why should i listen to 15 straight right you know it's be you know i mean that's you know, why you can break them up so easy because huh? they don't there's no cohesion right and i'm not yeah. saying that's wrong or right mm. i'm saying in my world when i hit number one i'm hoping that i can just let it rock as opposed to god damn all right shake your ass fucking yeah, all right boom Got it off the boat. You get it around the corner. All right, cool. How much drug? Is there more drugs left in the world? Like, is there more? I think there's more drug dealers than there is addicts at this right. point. They are. Or these niggas are just sad. Their yeah. life is not going well. Yeah. It didn't happen in two weeks. Right. They didn't sell ten million records in two weeks, so their life is over. Right. I can't listen to twelve of that in a row. Right. A lot of me people. personally, and right. I'm fifty-five, but I give it all a chance. Right. So if the kids is listening to it when you ask about hip hop. Go, y'all go for yours. I'm not hating on right. it because it ain't for me. Right. I respect what they doing. Go for yours. Right. I, I think it's a lack of artistry. A lot of people with those with that mindset, they're not real artists. That's all. They're one track minded in terms of. But of, it's you know also I mean? guidance too, right? Like, no, cause, it's cause, our fault. It's it's our fault. Okay. It's my generation's fault. I'm yeah. Speak why why, why right. you say that? Say that. Because technically, I, before you say what you're gonna say, yeah. I don't think it's your our generation's fault because. In our generation, we had diversity. We had. Let, we, let him wait a minute. You, wait right, a minute. Right. And that's what I'm gonna say. Okay. No, no, let no. Say, because say you why it's, I want to break this down. Okay. And, and this is just an opinion. Again, okay. we know what opinions are. So yeah. I don't want the fans of seeing this. You know, here's my opinion. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the '90s as the middle ground. Okay. Okay. So in the 90s, we were looking towards the Canes, the Rakims, the Grandmaster Kazes, the LL Cool J, Slick Ricks, Caresses, and that whole era, you know, the mm -hmm. Juice Crews and all of them. They were our blueprint of mm. MC manship. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. Okay, cool. And in my humble opinion, not one of them were alike. I was, mm -hmm. I was, I was going to say that, even saying that. Casanova Rudd right. to mm. Black Rock and Ron mm. to the most, Ooh, you know. Yeah, boy wanted to speak on this whole yeah, thing. So, mm -hmm. like, they, they had individuality. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. The 90s came around, and I was a part of it with Two Kings and the Cypher. Mm -hmm. There was, a, like, a cloud that came, in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. Again, it's my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
90 to 93, we were kind of confused. We had mm. we had dashikis on. NWA was gangster as fuck. We had some criminals G rapping them in New York. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two Kings got on beads. Tribe Called Quest got on sandals. Mm -hmm. And 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 De La is doing this eclectic, you know. Mm -hmm. And and then you got the UMCs and all. You got mm -hmm. a, right. a bunch of poor righteous teachers and we coming from all directions. Seven, six, it's like now. almost a 360, mm -hmm. but it's not cohesive. Mm -hmm. So you get to us, 93, in my humble opinion mm -hmm. again, it started, things started falling off. The two kings and the ciphers, the poor righteous teachers, the tribe called questions, and it got more to the fat Joes, Jay-Z's, the biggies. Remember, 93 was a key. Onyx. Year. Onyx. Mm -hmm. It got real hard Hardcore. again. Hardcore. Yeah. So if you were soft, then you was kind of like one of them dreaded rapid niggas, and you try and you yeah. try to do that. Right. right. It, it, it was kind of hard for you. Right, so huh? two kings in a cipher. All we talk about is you know positive. Blah, 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 blah. We had to reinvent. Yeah. But then something happened when we did that. We got stars. We got Jay. We all these people coming out of it. But we let something happen. Mm. We let guys that couldn't rap rap. Mm. Right. We did that. Mm. The CEOs started rapping. Mm. And you can name them mm. from the south to the west to the east to the north. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And they weren't good. Right. And it started saying to the people, oh, if they can do it, then I can do it. Right. And then you started seeing in the late 90s, the quality of the bars started slipping a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. just, just a hair. Uh -huh. Just a hair. Right. Uh -huh. But the record making started changing. And in early 2000s, there's another a burst of MCs. It come Lil Wayne and them, and there's another burst. Uh -huh. But then there's more people that can't rap that ain't supposed to be uh. rapping, rapping, and we're letting them uh -huh. and telling them they're hot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they're not. Right. Yeah, facts. What about regionally? How about, how about that? Let's talk regionally. Well, I'm just saying, because whatever they were doing regionally, there was still that sect in every region where there was a group of people that shouldn't be doing it, in my humble opinion, uh -huh. but they did it the best they could. But it may, sent the message to what you're seeing now. Yeah, yeah, right. What you're seeing now, somebody, all they need is this, a board, and some beats off the internet that says, give me beats that sound like Drake. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And they can Drake now make records. Beats. Drake type beats. <laughs> right. Or D dot type beats. Right, right. And then they go make a whole album with with drops all in it. D dot beats, beats, beats. Mm -hmm. All up in it. Because it became, <laughs> why not? Right. Yeah. Right. Why not? And Why so not? we did that. Mm. Right. The generation before us didn't do that. You ain't see Fly Tie rapping. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You ain't seen Russell bust no verses. Andre bust. Andre was a rapper and gave it up and then became a thing. Right. We did that in the '90s, niggas. We said, "Oh, okay. You the marketing dude, go rap." Right. Yeah. You the CEO, go rap. Right. 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 I was thinking of it from a different perspective because there was a lot of money coming through those different you know death row bad boy up okay a lot of Does money that take away from what the message is no no it does, i'm not saying it the takes message away was, do it you know look what look look what happened in 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 recent times right and this is just me again mm -hmm. humble opinion everybody has them we got verses going on with people mm -hmm. and some of the verses that's happening we all are questioning why? Mm -hmm. Why are we questioning it? There's a reason why. Like the locks versus, that was unfair. Right. <laughs> you think it's unfair before? You thought it was unfair before? It was unfair because, it, 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 it again, the locks were born and bred Ooh. out the womb. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 right. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Woo! Right. There was someone that got an opportunity and seized it. And seized it, right. Mm -hmm. But ain't them. Right. Right. Ain't them three animals. Right, right. Right. Yeah. Shout out to the locks. <laughs> yeah. Those are my guys. Nah, I feel you. I, I, I feel you. Um, also, to your point of um, when you spoke about 
you have Tribe Called Quest and then you I might add, you're, you're very soft-spoken today. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know I'm so I had a fickle with niggas, right. man. Like, start, we start getting yeah. into the conversation. Because yeah. like, I'm scared. Right. Because when I start talking crazy, <laughs> not when talking crazy, I'm talking arms. Nah, no. But anyway, crazy. my point is, as a, as, a, as a people, we're more than I got dope on the block. We are also Q-tip. As a people, we're more than six in the morning, police at my door. We're also poor righteous teachers. I saw Malik on five percent. We also that. So, that's, I, that's what we are right in the world. Right. That's all we. But in the music, but in business. music, we're, we're, we, you, you only it's it's, it's it's disproportionately is this. So, uh-huh. th- this generation didn't get that from the '90s because the '90s had diversity. Whether um, Tribe Called Quest sold more than NWA or NWA sold more than Far Side, you still had diversity. Well, you had individuality. individuality. Okay, right. so here now you're, you're right. So I take that a step further. In my humble opinion, again, this generation they don't know it, right? But they all have one goal in mind, and they're all trying to be that one artist. So in other words, there's a there's a there's a blueprint for what a rapper should be, and they all trying to and do trying that. To do that, right? As opposed to I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna be, be me, I'm yeah, be yourself. And the ones that are being them are not rewarded. Are taking the the shots. So right. mm-hmm. you got the light skinned boy. You know, my squad team, Light Skin, mm-hmm. J. Coles and the Drakes, mm-hmm. right. we having a hard time because they individuals are motherfucker and hot. Right. Yeah. And people are mad they're not conforming. Mm. Right. We don't conform. What? Are you turning this to a light skin dark skin? No, no. I'm saying to you, then we go to the Kendrick Lamar. Right. Okay. You know who I love? That little boy Corday for a second. Oh, right. yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's having like, a hard time right now. I don't know why, but I'm just saying, yeah. from an MC-manship, he's if that's a word, he's, he's I would have loved to just get him in the studio for five joints. Well, yeah. We got some bars. We gotta make it happen. But you know what I'm saying? You, there's rappers out here that's doing it. Don't Absolutely. get it. Absolutely. not being rewarded. I love Joey Badass right. and all that type of, you know what I mean? But there's a, a sect of hip-hop mm-hmm. that's larger than the ones I like, mm-hmm. that their goal is to get this one monolithic goal in place yeah mm-hmm. right that's a fact so all the females oh, God. are yeah that's it dick pussy 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 my pussy my pussy my dick my dick because that's what little kim and Nicki minaj and foxy set up for them right yeah set so, up i like how you said that set up right it's it's set up for them to achieve this goal mm-hmm. you get here you win Fium, 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 fium. Right. Okay. So we have the modern day Drakes and the Meek Mills, who's hot and 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 and, and these type of niggas. Okay. To win, that's on Jay Z of you know Jay Beyond, but you know. Right. And so fium, 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 or you get one of them. Uh, what's the boy from from the West Coast? It's Travis Scott or mm-hmm. one of them. Type He's of, from down south. Or down, yeah. you know them dudes. Right. Now he becomes a or a little Uzi. Mm-hmm. You know. Right. Yeah. Fium, 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 fium. Right. Yeah. But wouldn't you say J. Cole is one of them? He's winning. He's up there. J. Cole is a monster. Right, right, exactly. But wouldn't you put him in the in the category of he's you get to this level and you're you're popping too? You just don't have to do gangster shit. Get, J. Cole's not gangster. He's a true artist. That's what I'm saying. So right. no. So the answer is no, because these guys don't want to do some of that soft shit that may they think is soft. Everything Even though it's rewarded and successful. They don't yeah, want to Will do Smith it. is rewarding and successful right. too, but I, everybody didn't want to do that. Right, I get it. I so get my it. point is J. Cole is a is a, a blueprint for hip hop in itself on what to be. Right. But yeah. these cats, he 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 ain't right. syruped out. Yeah. He ain't dirty he enough. Ain't dirty. Right. He ain't I... dirty enough and but his music reaches right. everybody and he's a storyteller. So me, that's that's what should it should be to me. Right. I wish these kids let me, let me ask you something. Like there, the, like they is... they like the uh you know, the the ones that just syrup and right all day is there a hidden hand in hip-hop is there are there string pullers people that's not a part of the culture moving people that way in your opinion well they are a part of the culture they are so so it's some that are a part and some that are not oh yeah the, the, um yeah white just man people... the white man didn't go to africa and just take the slaves he had to get some of convince some of us to mm. help him out uh-huh. got it there's, ne- there's never you think if you think if they came and came directly and said Stick them up, right? They would have been slavery. Mm. They wouldn't have made it off that fucking island, right? right. They got their boy. To, you are getting sleepy. <laughs> you right. are getting sleepy. Right. Got you. And then they shipped them out. Uh huh. So okay. that happens every day. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. plenty of snakes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yes. Got okay. it. Yeah. Let me ask you. I know we're not going to talk too crazy about the past, but the '90s, the 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 period of time with Big. 
with Pac, Bad Boy Death Row. That was a turbulent time. Suge Knight. That was, I wasn't even in the business at that point, and it was scary, like to think of going to L.A. Mm -hmm. um, what, you kind of weren't really in there, like embroiled in that at all. Like never really heard you in any way or form. What was your experience like? Was told in shootouts to stay low and keep fire. <laughs> yeah, right. None of my business. Right. You want to stay alive, you want to get gray hair, you want to have grandkids, you want to have pretty daughters and beautiful, smart children and a happy life, happy wife type shit. Mm -hmm. Get some money, get to travel, mm -hmm. mind your motherfucking business. Yeah. yeah. And don't speak on other people's business. Right, right. Seven characteristics of a wise man. Mm. Speak when spoken to. Yeah, facts, facts. Um, fast forwarding a little bit, a lot of people don't realize this, but both Kanye and 50 Cent kind of came out of you. Oh, I was going to go there. I was getting ready to go there. I was going to tell you my plan. Can I, can I tell <laughs> My favorite, tell you. My favorite record from you is The Ghetto. Yeah. That's what you and Raekwon yeah. produced by Kanye. Kanye. Okay. <laughs> well, co-produced, right? Well, well, right. Co-produced. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite records. Yes. So. And I want to give my man who thinks I hate him. <laughs> okay, okay. He thinks... No, no, you don't, it's not Kanye. Oh, okay. DeAndre Free made it. Okay. Uh -huh. Got a call, the story I heard from Kanye, he, who he managed at the time mm -hmm. okay, yeah. in Chicago, and said Kanye wanted to meet. So thank you, Free, for introducing me mm -hmm. to Kanye. Gotcha. Um, Kanye came, and he was basically, in my humble opinion, again, he was... My sound with Chicago, with that Midwest, right, burr, right. Mm -hmm. but sh 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 all, the, all the, you know, all the, all the shit. He, he had a little bop to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bop. You know, he wasn't shy about his bop. Um, and yeah, so I, I decided that was a nice journey to go on. This, this kid is gonna be something special. Yeah, man. right. And so yeah, and then he participated in the Mad Rapper album. Right. So yeah, so he wasn't there. I was gonna say, were you Ray and you and Kanye t t no, there? No, Kanye together? wasn't there. Me okay. and Ray were there. You and Ray yeah, was yeah. there. Okay. Kanye wasn't there for none of his records. That's why when he used the term "ghost produce," mm. it was very disrespectful, which people know now because he <laughs> has some dude on his ass about the beats. He, what's his name? The <laughs> white boy that he produces with. Oh, oh, Mike yeah, Dean. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so now is it? And so are you, is Mike Dean go, ghost producing for Kanye? Is oops. that the term? Oops, oops, oops. oops. Mm. And put that on you, you know, put right. that on there. So anyway, the term was wrong. Right. Kanye was, did his beats at home, which was hot. Right. He put him back then, he put him in a mail slot. Right. And <laughs> sent him to us via that machine. Right. right. So Papa and my A&R smiles. Right. Who managed De La Soul Down. Uh, he was my A&R back then. Okay. We popped the dats in when they come through and say, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, D-Dot, who's hotter than fish grease in 98, That's right. a fact. is getting calls from everybody. Okay, so pop in that Coptic number seven or that Charlemagne from the Bronx number 12 or Kanye number eight. See if we got something for these people. Right. Okay, cool. Kanye sends it that one day, and I hear that ghetto beat, hmm. but it's just the sample. Sample. Mm. Right. No drum. Right. No nothing. Right. None of that weird. Right. No song. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what I do, bring, 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 come on, Blake, my man Blake Melodious. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Right. Right. It's also on it. D-Dot, come in. Right. Uh. And then let me call my man Ray. Ray Quan. Let me Shall call I? my brother Carl Tizzy. Right. Uh -huh. Can we put something together special, fellas? So then me and Ray meet in LA. In LA. In LA. A Ray did his verse in LA. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my man Power from the Woo. Yeah, Power. Shout out to Power. You gotta get Power in here, yeah, by the way. That's my dog. That's one of the realest yeah. niggas. Telling yes, he is. Yes, he is. Absolutely. So me, Ray, Power, my my brother Chi Chi, we hit the L.A. scene, and we recorded Ghetto there. Right. Paul Thomas did his chorus first mm -hmm. for us. Right. And then I brought it out then and let Ray hear it, and Ray was like, oh. Right. Yo, God, this is no brain of God. <laughs> yeah. Yo, God. <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite record, man. And, and, and so that silences the uh, the ghost producer. It silences it, but there's no such thing as ghost producing unless you don't get your name. Kanye got his name 
and his money. Mm. Right. Ghost meant that he wasn't there because I didn't need him back then. Right. I'm the producer. Yeah. I'm gonna produce it and make you hot. Then you go run and tell people you <laughs> produce. Right. Yeah. You don't right. even know Eminem. You didn't meet Eminem till maybe 15, 10 years later. Right. 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 That's uh what about that's called producing. He did the track. That's called beat making. Beat making. Yeah, there's right. a difference. There's a difference Ooh. between beat making and producing. That's, that's, a, fact. that's a fact. That's a fact. Because if if you're that hot, then just put out I mean, he could do it now, but back then they just put out an instrumental album mm. and see if it sells against an album with vocals on it right. that mm. someone else produced and wrote and got did the actual work and mixed it. Right. So yeah, yeah that ghost producer. So all those media people, like, not you necessarily, but the media that ran with that narrative of ghost producing mm. should probably feel like idiots now. Uh -huh. Because if you ask Kanye, then what is Mike Dean doing for you? And all the other guys whose your name appeared lo alongside of that you didn't do the track for. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's real. That's the same thing with Dre and Melman. Yeah. Same, yeah. Yeah. Same, same situation. Quite a few people. I mean, right. people will. I've always tried but to take they, away from Dre's. They, yeah. Take away. You cannot take away from the doctor's ears. Yeah. Right. And the efforts and the 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 elevation that it goes from beat. To full composition right. hit record, uh -huh. right? Yeah, that's real. Yeah. That is special, right? They so even... all these guys that did the beats, I, I did that, and trying to take away from the the D dots, the Diddies, the Jermaines, and the Dr. Dre's, right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Even the RZA, because he didn't do all the beats, right. right? Right. But how did the song come out so Stanley steaming? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. What, so how, how, let me ask you this: How did you avoid on this same album the black backlash, blacklash of um, "How to Rob"? Because you and Fifty are on that record. Rich Nice, you brought him up earlier. Yeah, Rich. So Tone and Pope had had uh, Fifty. Uh -huh. He was making a little noise in the street, and um, they had the record already. Mm -hmm. The vert, the first version. So I got a call like one, two in the morning. It was pouring down rain. It was Rich Nice. He was like, Dot, we need a hook for this record. Mm. I said, Rich, it's raining. I'm about to go to fuck home. Yo, he said, Yo, please, man, please. So he shot down to my henchman studios because I had took over henchman mm -hmm. studios while I had, you know, peace to my man. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy mm -hmm. yeah. So um, he comes down, he plays the record. I heard it was hot as fuck. Mm -hmm. I said, But, you know, there's some lines in here that, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have some problems with, but. I'm with the smoke. This ain't serious. I, you know, I immediately went to work. Right, like, yeah. I love it. Right. And I hadn't met him yet. Wow. I hadn't met him yet. No, I hadn't wow. met him. You know who he was. Wow. So I did the record before I met him. Before you wow. met him. Right. That didn't know that. And right. you, yeah, go ahead. Right. So, boom, do the record. Word comes back from Columbia and, and Polk and Tone and Track Masters. Yo, Doc, we appreciate it. <laughs> All that type of shit. But then he had to go back and change records. So the Mariah and Tommy line. Mm. I mean, I mean, not my, uh, the Mary and Case line was originally Tommy and Mariah. Mm. They made him take Cause that out because he was up there. <laughs> and then he had a, he had like another line in there that was a little bit beyond what it was. So fast. What forward. was it though? What was the line? I, I'm trying to think of it. I'm okay, 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 okay. Speaking. So fast forward. Fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, son. What kind of J? Ooh. J. Mm. But Jay does it smart. He calls from the Angie Martinez show. Mm. So Angie calls. T Dot, how you doing, T Dot? You know, Angie with the T Dot? <laughs> with, you know, with the trying to put the sexy or know what is about to be heat up. Yo, what's up, baby? I'm like, what's up, baby? We live on the air. Right. Yo, that shit was hot. You know, because everybody was calling me, yo, Dot, yo, what's up with your man? So I'm listening to him, but I'm Missy, Tim, mm -hmm. Hun. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, uh, uh. so my response is, yeah, you know, but did you like the record though? <laughs> like, let's keep it 100. Right. That shit was hot, wasn't it? And it's mad rapper style. That's why we. That's why I'm on it. That's so. Are you gonna be mad at me? Because I can easily turn back into Derek Angeletti, and that's a whole different mm -hmm. conversation. So how we want to do this? Let's just let's have some fun. Enjoy yeah. Let's, let's have some fun. So Jay, why he's who he is, he gets on and says, "Yo, live on air. Yeah, I love the record, son. Congratulations. I'd have to solicit an opinion from him." You know what I'm saying? Like Jay, like Jada said to 50, you know, 1.2 on a short week, you know? Right, Congratulations, right. you know? Right. But I'm going to have to spank you, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm putting it on the record now. 
He's going to get spanked. Yeah. Oh, word? Okay. We, you know, hey, and I'm trying to cop a plea on it. Like, hey, man, I was just along for the ride. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I'm with all this smoke. We hot. So I'm going back to the studio. We got to make some records. Because the shit's about to hot. I need 11 records to drop as soon as Jay. And then he went and did the, the shit where he said, I'm about a dollar. What the fuck? fucking 50 cent? He gave yeah, a jab. Yeah. He went and did all that. Yeah. Yo. So, yeah, so I was with all the smoke. But, you know, people... Hey man, it's it's music, and again, it's this is entertainment. Classic. We're still talking about to this day. It's yeah, historic, classic. Hey, I'm shit. trying to. I'm, I was just trying to be a part of them. That's all. when you started the Mad Rapper. Um, we all know it came from a skit, but you had a little issue where your identity was revealed. Did you have a plan for it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it got all fucked up. It's right. All fucked up now. It's all fucked up now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So the goal was when I first did it, if you knew, you knew. Uh huh. But I hadn't been a rapper in since '93, '92, so nobody knew my voice. Right. right. And you didn't know previously on Ready to Die. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's you. Previously, you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. Teachable moment. That's crazy. That's crazy. He's trying to do That's crazy. Oh snap! Yeah. Look at that. Oh snap! Wow. Right. Voiceover <laughs> work pending. Loading voiceover work. So, the moment comes. You know what I'm saying? And you like. What we gonna do? Uh, is, is 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 people gonna be receptive uh-huh. to me and yeah. everything I'm doing? Right. So the dude decides that I, I decide that I'm, I'm gonna keep it under wraps for a second. We're just gonna do the skits, produce the records, kind of do the. What was that dude that was on the Gong Show? He had the bag over his head. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unknown, unknown comments. Unknown comments. Like, like, <laughs> Yo, showing, like, showing my age right, 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 right. right. You're showing your knowledge. Right, of, right. You know, facts, facts. Who I am. You know yeah. who I am. But to those that know, like, yeah. you're a funny nigga. You know, okay, right. cool. So an individual at Blaze Magazine decides that it's in hip-hop's best interest to let people know who I am. Mm, so they did it. Uh, unbeknownst to him is that I had to deal with Fila at the time. Uh-huh. And feel I wanted to do a deal with Derek Angeletti because Puffy's Sean John suits were inspired by the Brooklyn Fila suits we used to wear. Facts. I had them all colors, uh-huh. the laws. So that was my thing. So they loved it. So they gave me half a million dollars. Wow. So I'm in a phase of my life where, where I'm from, I ain't never seen this type of money. Yeah. Right. So anybody that steps in the way of that for your own reason. Mm. I didn't do anything to you. I don't even know you. Yeah. Uh. He decided that hip hop needed to hear that uh. story. And feel I said, well, see that check over there? We're just going to. Wow. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. We here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh. imagine real niggas sitting around. Uh-huh. Need a phone call right now. Hey, so they just took a half a million out your account. Have a nice day. Come back. Uh. Pac-Man, woo, 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 woo. dick just went like this small, like, mm. what the fuck just happened? Wow. So somebody got to pay. Some, some, some got happened. I need some answers. Uh-huh. What's happening here? Wouldn't you? Yeah, that, that I, would, I, I need yeah, some answers, that please. Would. I ended up on Saturday Night Live uh. as a result. Mm. So, yeah. So. What, what, so what's that, a skit? A skit, yeah, they made fun of me. They said, uh, so one of Puffy's protégés, D-Dot, got arrested for... Uh hitting somebody whatever and he said oh, when they asked why he did he said oh, I was just trying to remix his face <laughs> <laughs> yo it's crazy it's crazy because I actually know the um the writer of that yeah God bless him yeah yeah God yeah. bless him he got paid yeah yeah, you know, yeah and it was all good I didn't go to jail and you know it's, it was an unfortunate situation for everybody so I apologized mm. and did all my penance and went to see the, the you know the, the guy with the thing on his neck and, right you know did all that yeah you know. I remember there was this commercial 
and not too many people may or may know, know about it. It was um, promoting Biggie's album, and they were playing um, Hypnotize, and it was some dudes riding around the expeditions, and it was your voice, like, yeah, sorry, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I only saw it one time in my whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was a promo for his album. Yeah, like, do you remember? Yeah, I remember. What was that about? Do you I don't remember, though. I did so many I, of It was so obscure. I had only seen it one time I on TV. I did so many of the shits, though. Like, yeah, that was... probably got skipped to mind that they say, yo, you don't remember this? Like, fuck no, I don't right. remember that. So much weed from. Was, was Branson, that? Branson had a Was the man rapper... Um, um, was that? Did you was there, was there somebody in your hood that that voice? Like, where did you get that that character from? Like, is there like was there somebody that reminded you of that to talk like that? Because you could have used any accent. Like, what? Yeah. How how did you get that accent out of that? Um, the the, the louder one, the one on Biggie's album is more closer to my voice. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Son? I was talking like that. Right. As it progressed, I got angrier. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the, it got higher in pitch, but. It wasn't intended to be that high, so it was really just supposed to be me trying to just do a voiceover that was different than my normal voice. Okay. My normal voice is this. Right. But when I go up, that don't, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. Did people confuse it for two people? But yeah. it's one. Yeah. Because yeah. people yeah. think it's two. People. I'm gonna tell you a story. Right. When it dropped, <laughs> and I had dropped my record. God bless the Godfather. Red Alert. Red he Alert. Always supported Salute, me. Right. And from That's my idol, years, man. That's why I started right. DJing like, because of Red Alert. So shout out to my OG. I love you. So he, you know, I had to do an interview on his show. He had a show at the time and shit. Uh -huh. So, you know, he's known me since I was a child, pretty much. So, right. you know, and I know he didn't mean this disrespectfully, but when he saw me, he saw me, came in and shit. So he saw me and he kind of, like, I came to give him a pound. He kind of, like, just let the pound go by and shit. <laughs> and, you know, kind of, like, let me walk Look by. Here. And he said, you know, he, yo, hey, yo, where's the, where's your brother? Where's the guys at? I said, what guys? <laughs> the mad rapper, the mad but where I, I said, I said, oh, that, they both me. <laughs> he said the one with the crazy boy yeah oh, yeah that's me too. i do uh, uh. right and he just looked it was almost like he was disappointed yeah right. it was almost like <laughs> I, I didn't even disappoint you Uncle, but i'm talented right yeah. right right, right. That's <laughs> <dope. laughs> my boy good yeah, yeah yeah but then he said oh we're gonna run with this then he had a whole plan on how right. we gonna switch mics and shit i'm gonna turn my hat around yeah 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 no 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 we go you know what i'm saying <laughs> it, got, it got like that and shit yeah Dope. Yo, how competitive was uh was Bad Boy and Rockefeller? How competitive? How comp? It wasn't competitive. How? Who we are? Oh. Well, for first of all, I mean they were after us. True. We were their blueprint. True. We made Jay's second album so they can know what not to do the next time. True. So what was the next album after that? After, after Volume One. After um, hard, hard knock, hard knock, hard knock, right? Yeah, yeah. Hard which was what? Five times on Sean Sweater. Was what right? the explosion? Yeah. So you think lesson was learned? Yeah. Okay. True. True. Ooh, next question. Well, who was your man? <laughs> yeah. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. You broke me down. You broke me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they did. They did. They was there any competition for Bad Boy? Yeah. Who was Bad Boy's competition? Uh, Death Row. I. That's uh, that's an well, obvious. obvious and, and, that's an obvious, obvious one. And and you know, so so Def quietly mm -hmm. was doing you know their R and B thing and their Southern thing that yeah. was you know. And then don't forget, don't forget them Texas niggas. Oh yeah, the Texas niggas was dancing all over people. What? They was yeah. Dancing. They was they Death Row. Was, yeah, Texas. The te them Texas Draper and the other one. Oh, Tony you know, Draper. Tony Draper. All of them. Yeah. And, and, and the other one, uh, you know. J J Prince. Yeah, on all of them. They, they was they was. You know, Master P and all Master them in P. New Orleans. Yeah, let's Master not. Uh. They all the props. The, they weren't our competition, but they were on the same stage. They mm. were like market you know, share. Yeah, like yeah. like you can't ignore this. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't ignore this. Right. That's what I'm saying. No disrespect to the guys in New York. Yeah. But you know, it's like if if you go and play with under Pat Riley. And Phil Jackson, and then you go and start a team. Yeah. Can you give Phil and Pat their, their props? Right. 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 No, right. right. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're in the rooms with record makers. Right. Mm -hmm. Not right. a bunch of bunch of niggas that's in the room smoking and drinking, thinking we got our shit together. Yeah. Right. It's a bunch of ragtag bad news bears. The one thing mm -hmm. niggas gotta respect. My man Puff for, right, is is that them niggas he put together called the Hitmen, including myself, uh -huh. was not the top tier team he could have picked. Uh -huh. You know who was out when we did all of that? Can we name the 
Yeah, the the monumental it. motherfuckers and Pete Rocks and the professors mm. and the yeah. and the primos mm. and the motherfucking Molly Mall, Molly Mall and, mm. and, and Pete Rocks and the and 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 and, and, mm-hmm. and 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 who else I who else I ain't name yes. Buck Wild yeah. and the yeah. DITC yeah. and the Beat Miners and do you know the monsters that was running with Timberland and all oh, of them yeah. over there? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, and for some reason he chose a bunch of niggas that ain't really about that. Yeah, that's, yeah, I didn't, that's kind of that's kind of wise. Yeah, Nasheen Myrick, who had yeah. a few joints, but you know, yeah, D. Dot Angeletti. I didn't have a bunch of Ron Lawrence. Chucky Thompson was the only real, you know, he mm-hmm. was the he was the fucking ringer with Mary yeah. and all that. Stevie J from where? Right, right from where? Right. He can only play eleven instruments at one time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this nigga put a bunch of niggas in the room, and we, we, we. Okay, team break. We all yeah. had was different. Mm-hmm. Right. All, none of us sounded alike. None of us did the same things. We didn't fuck the same bitches. We didn't smoke the same right. weed, drink the same liquor. So this was a marriage made in heaven. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so that was the motivation. Right. If we could all just do our Bill Belichick. Right. 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 Do your job. Oh, man. Them niggas can't fuck with us. Right. right. So niggas saw that. Right. Jay Dame, mm-hmm. uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Rough Riders, mm-hmm. DNY, mm-hmm. them niggas came in. Mm-hmm. Them niggas didn't have it. Don't act like they came off the streets. Yeah, knowing it, they needed to stay. Oh, right. Ah, mm-hmm. ooh, mm-hmm. Right. Mm. right. Right. So, mm. so when you first participated in hip hop, beginning, did you what, did you do both rap and make beats? Mm-hmm. Which one was first? How, how did rapping? You, I was. I'm still a rapper. So, so how did you get into the make the beat making process? Um. That's a good question. I was always a rapper. Start off as a rapper. Master D, Brooklyn. Oh, okay. But another fact, DJ Clark Kent that we know today mm-hmm. was my DJ when I was a kid. Master D from Houdini? No, Grandmaster? DJ Clark Kent. Okay, Clark Kent. Okay, okay. I called myself oh, little, little Master, Master D. Master D, okay. I was okay. little Master, Master D. Master D, okay. There was a lot of Master Ds in Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> all right? I was little Master D because I was the littlest one out of all of them, so okay. I would be identified, and I was light-skinned. Okay. Right. 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 But yeah, so rap, I'm always a rapper, still a rapper to this day. Right. Making beats happened because Ron Lawrence, when Two Kings and Cypher folded in 93, mm-hmm. and we got dropped, Ron Lawrence picked up and went to L.A. to go fuck with Shy, who went to Highway with us. Right. Yeah. Shy. Right. right, so he was working on his second album. Shout out to him, I'm in Ra. I'm in Ra, that's my yeah. brother. My, that's my mentor, too, so, you know, boom. So I'm sitting there, and so now he got to mail me beats. Right. I, you know, I'm on the road with Mary J. Blige now. Puff put me on the road with Mary in 94. Mm-hmm. I'm still living in my mother's basement, though. We got mm-hmm. dropped, so I ain't got no money. Uh-huh. For 93, 94, I'm in my mother's basement. Yeah. It's 100 in Queens. Right. All right, cool. Ron's sending beats, and Ron is out in LA, so his beats are chained a little bit. They just, they just a little bit too, you uh-huh. know, this. I need, I need, yeah. I need, I need my shit is all bent over, you know, <laughs> right, 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 monkey right. style, you know what I mean? I need <laughs> that. So I'm making money with Mary J. Blige. I bought a drum machine. Okay. Just so I can, you know, he had already showed me techniques when we both went dc mm-hmm. so buying a drum machine i was already a step ahead what did you buy what was it mpc, MPC 60. 60. okay mpc okay 62. all right and that's why i made the benjamin one wow mpc 60. Ooh, ooh. I, on the MPC you still have it too. i still have it <laughs> yeah. you got the floppies i still got the floppies. wow yeah. so in my wanting to write rhymes because i still want to write i needed to learn how to f- make beats because ron ron's beats wasn't what i wanted to rap to but i thought they were hot yeah so i would rap to them but I needed a different, you know, I needed my shit to bend a little bit like, right. like this. And so that's how I started making beats to, to kind of get my raps out. Right. Because right. I'm thinking I'm still going to make this last push to be an MC right. while I'm on the road. Right. So I'm on the road with Mary J. Blige. I, don't, I didn't tell you stuff, but Puff hired me to, to be the manager for Mary, Mary J. Blige Mary for him. Blige. So I'm on the road and Mary's cousin, DeMarco, brings a tape on the, on the fucking bus. And it's these niggas called the Warlocks. The Warlocks, mm-hmm. aka the Locks. Mm. I'm like, but it's just, it's just Sheik and, and Kiss. Right. Mm-hmm. Styles is locked up. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Right. Then, sent Mary and them sick out at the Puff. Puff calls me on the road. Says, Yo, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> right. This, this is what I've been waiting for. This is this is Cold Crush, nineteen ninety, right? With, with with the you know with the other shit to it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's how I start making beats to satisfy my own personal rap palette because I wanted right. to be a rapper really bad. Yeah. Right. yeah. Was there was there a rapper or MC that you missed like that 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 you didn't 
that you didn't um that came into your presence but you didn't grab onto them like i know you weren't signing acts per se but um um mace's old manager's friend who used to roll with them kuda kuda's one of kuda's people they used to roll with them okay mm -hmm. introduced us first to nelly and i didn't mm. get it Ooh, mm. wow not to wow. say he was gonna sign him to us but yeah. he introduced the music yeah. to us and I, I didn't get it at the time right that's the gotcha. one i could say that one thing didn't i didn't get, get that right. you know what i'm saying well let me say i didn't get it I, I you know it was just very you know i didn't know that world i'm, I'm yeah. from brooklyn, from brooklyn. Country. I, I i didn't know it yeah. they yeah. were from wherever they were from they caught it Congrats. It makes perfect sense because at that time people had a sound. That was a St. Louis thing. You didn't get it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But I did get them right. niggas that was, hey, in the middle of the ball. Country, 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 Somewhere in the middle of the bar, yeah, 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 literally. Was that Chicago. That shit but was that crazy. was the crazy thing about Chicago. Common was out at that time. Right. And he was they nice. came out. Yeah, we knew Common, Pope, which is another do or die, light skin. Do or die, skin. do or die. T yeah. light skin, who's you know, who even back then, record wise, mm -hmm. it wasn't a, it wasn't abrasive music. Mm -hmm. Right. So his fan base didn't grow as fast as ours did. Right. Yeah. Because he was, he was doing what he thought. He should do, which was perfect, cause yeah. look where it got him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the the vitriol they caught, and the the, the you know you 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 saw it, ah, you know, eh. yeah. hip hop is hip hop. He right. was an individuality, and that's what we love. We had if you didn't want to listen to Gangsta all the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. exactly. Wonder here, I used to love uh, something yeah, like that, right? Like communism, right? You right. Throw that on, right? You know what I'm saying like yeah. that's what you do. That's what's missing right now. Yeah, that's you do right. that. You know what I mean? Right. So let me ask you something. Um, Howard University, Howard University. You um, know? Anybody that knows me knows I wanted to go to Howard, <laughs> right? Because I say it every time Howard's brought up. But for folks that don't understand, and I do now, I mean, I didn't quite understand it then, but there were so many talented people that went to Howard. You know, you got Diddy, Young Guru, yourself. Listen, 85 to 89. Guru and them came after me. Mm -hmm. I had, shout out to Guru. He used to work for me. Mm -hmm. Love Guru. But 85 to 89, Puffy, me, Chris Latimer, mm -hmm. Diggable Planets, Ron Lawrence, Ooh, mm -hmm. Mark Batson, mm -hmm. for Dr. Dre, mm -hmm. Akis Long, mm. um, Michelle and Dege Cello, mm. um, uh, uh, Raz Baraka, the mayor, mm -hmm. Kasim Reed was the mayor. You know, Ryan Glover and all them new time, dope. remember Noon Time, mm -hmm. the, the producing crew? They yeah. They went to Howard. Yeah. You know, Noonie and all of them, Chris Hicks and all of them. Right. Howard. Howard University from Atlanta, they did their thing. Um, you got doctors and lawyers and of all course. types of shit, you know what I'm saying, going on. Um, but that era brought so many people to the industry. Anthony Anderson. Mm hmm You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Lala. Taraji. Taraji. They were a little after us, but Anthony was there when I was there. Right. You know, uh, what's his name from, from the Cosby show? Uh, uh, Malcolm? No, the other one. Uh, his, his best Least, friend. Oh, his oh, best friend. Cockroach. 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 Cockroach went to Howard. I don't call him. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to call him Cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> My fault. But right. yeah, nah, he, but They're from he, Harlem, too. Yeah, he went, he, went to, he went to Howard, good dude. You know, Cole, you know Marlon Wayans yeah. went later. Yep. So that, that era for us was really important because we all left and we went on to do great things. Half Pierre, Mark Pitts. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. all of us were there during that moment. So wow. it was crazy. And there's more I'm probably not naming. Yeah, right. A lot it's of females few. that went to do their thing. My wife was there. She's a big author now. So it was just a lot of people that that era just spawned something. Something was in, in the, somebody's plan in the universe yeah. for us to all converge on each other. Pause. Definitely. Pause. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I wasn't going to pause you on that. Saying, my boys would have been like, yo, yo, um, that was, <laughs> yeah, um, that was a technical <laughs> file. That was a technical point. But uh, it's funny. I saw you uh, um, over homecoming, and I was hating. He was with Felicia Rashad. I was <laughs> hating. Why are you hating? I was hating. I saw Debbie Allen with her hand on I saw shoulder. Debbie Allen. I, yeah, I saw them both. I left that, but I, I was. Saying, you just give me the word. Oh, man. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, you get a pass on that way for your, your wife? My wife was sitting right in the front seat. I gave her a wink, like, yeah. you know what it is. <laughs> 
Yeah, I probably, I probably did later on. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> really nah, that's yeah. dope. How, shout out to Howard. Yeah, yeah, shout, shout out to Howard. University. And, uh, and that's where I first and only saw Biggie live at, at Howard. It was really in D.C. I don't okay. think it was officially at Howard. Howard okay. But uh, the Armory. And um, it was a legendary night. Method Man. Yeah, yep. Man. I caught I caught a tape. Meth, I, I think it was Meth. I'm sure it was it was Meth or Red. I think, I don't know if Red was even there. But it was during their set or whatever. They threw a M Month of the Man tape out Method into the Man. crowd. Yeah. And yo. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. I caught that drink. getting grippy out there. Yeah. I still have it. Ooh, man. You gotta get him to sign that, yo. I should. I yeah, should. should. That's one I place. definitely you should. Him to, you threw this to me like 20, 30 right. years ago. Sign and that's another thing. Like I said, we talked about 93. I was in Queens. Moved back home with my mother in Harper, yeah, and this boy came, picked me up. We went and smoked some weed. And they threw on this cassette. And all I heard was, gong, 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 gong. Right, right, right. Protect your neck. Protect your neck. I was in the back seat, like, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> right. How you get out of this motherfucker? Right. So when I first moved to Queens, I couldn't go to the smoke shops because them niggas be like, "Oh, police, police, you can't have nobody. You, right. know, you look like police." Right. So Harvin, they would have to go in for me. So he left. They left me in the car. I went pop that tape. Let's put that shit. In. <laughs> so they put in more music different during the time. He was right, right. take tape. That shit in my pocket. I got to the crib, went to the double, and then wow, now, 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 I must have burnt that tape. Twenty fucking minutes, cause I was like, these niggas is 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 one of the sparks that said, "Die, you got to get back in this shit." Right. Mm, wow. Right. Shout out to the wolf. First man. things first, man. You fucking with the, the worst. That was all I needed to hear. Yeah. The fucking oh, nurse. Who was that? <laughs> what? Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, no, that was ODB. That was ODB. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, that's ODB. Well, no, that, that first. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. First. You're right. It was ODB. Yeah. Speaking to your time. And right. again, I loved them so much that in the '90s. I wanted to work with him. Right. Because I knew Ray and them had, they, you know, they was doing, I love me. I right. made a couple of Ray videos. Me and Ray staying out for a minute. But Deck, I was like, me and Deck. Deck is that like, arguably was, one of the nicest yeah. out of the club. It never happened. You know? It never right. happened. But I would have loved No, not arguably. He is. Yeah, yeah, facts. I would have loved the guy. Just, just, Ray even said to me, Deck is the nicest out of all. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. If I would have got with Deck. I mean, I work with Meth, so I'm good with, you know, me. I work with Red Man. I work with them dudes. Right. I, I was blessed. To is work there with anyone that you haven't worked with? Like, you have a bucket list of that one artist that you would have loved to work with, whether they're here or not, or is oh, there man, anybody? I would love to work with Pac. Okay. Mm -hmm. You never did nothing. Even when he did was you in meet New York? him? Never. Oh, I met him. Yeah. Man, yeah. How, 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 I, mean, I met him with Nas for the first time. You ever heard Nas' story first meeting? Yeah. Him? I was on Howard University campus. I was with Nas. Pac did like this. Is that Nas? Like he came over to us. So boom, he's giving. I'm standing right next to Nas. He's giving a pound. Me and Nas know each other. And then as he's leaving, he looks and he gives me a double take. Hold up, hold up. And he starts singing, I got a song with uh, Two Kings Hyper called For the Brothers Who Ain't Here. For the brothers so he started singing, For the Brothers, <laughs> the Brothers Who Ain't Because that's his really, that's right. his type of vibe. Oh, that's, yeah. He, yeah, that's he's a on fact. that type he's a of vibe. Right, right, he's on that vibe. Yeah. So For the Brothers was a poem. Right. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't rapping. Raz Baraka wrote the poem what? and I spit it right. on Two Kings of Cypher album. So he knew it. And I, but he didn't know my name. What's your name? I said DOP. They called me DOP at the time. And DOP was D dot O dot P dot. That's why I call myself D dot. Right. Because it's really for DOP. Right. The deliver of prophecy. Mm. So he gave me a pound. So me and then he invited me and Nas back to his room to, not, you know, to go smoke and all that. You mm -hmm. know, come smoke with me. Come do all so that. So you smoke with Tupac? Well, I don't remember if we actually went. Um, you know, we did with Brother. Yeah, we actually did. Yeah. Okay. We actually yeah. did. Yeah. So that's crazy. Um, but it was, you know, thousands of people. Wow. Mm -hmm. I met I met Pac with Nas. That's my That's memory right. of first meeting Pac. So, yeah. so Dr. Dre, Pac, um, <clears throat> I know we're, you know, Beyonce, Rihanna, hmm. Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick. <laughs> he called them. I mean, I mean, I mean, these are the people that I would like to I mean, say, hey, you, I think, I think, I think Magic, I think Magic will work, you know, some somewhere along the line, you know. Um, uh, If I tell you this Nicki Minaj story, it's gonna be hard to believe. Let's talk about it. Okay. Um, She's I, I would peacemaking love out Nikki. here. But if you if you ask Nicki if she ever sees this one day, I I found Nicki on on uh, MySpace. MySpace. Yeah. It was Nicki Mirage. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And I convinced her to come to Daddy's house. She did with a girlfriend. I don't remember her girlfriend's name. Both two little cuties. Mm -hmm. And Nicki reminded me of Yummy Bingham. Y'all remember Yummy yeah, Bingham? Okay, definitely. so she reminded me of Yummy. Rap version though, you know what I mean? 
and she actually wrote a record for me in the studio. Mm. And y'all heard the record. Mm. Unfortunately, not because of me, but I called Kim and said, I think I found your protege. Ooh. Mm. This is before Cash Money. And Nikki will tell y'all this. Yeah. Right. So she dropped the verse. So I had an old verse of Kim that she did on a freestyle. So I put it on the record and said, this is how I want you to come after Nikki. I sent it to Hillary Weston and Kim. And they got it. Some bullshit happened. Mm. It didn't happen. Mm. Mm. Nikki ends up moving to Atlanta. Yeah. To get with Deb Anthony. Deb, 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 Deb Anthony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, I was on the chorus that I had sent to them. Because mm -hmm. I was going to do a, you know, me introducing Nikki with Kim. Mm -hmm. Right record got leaked uh. so Kim was you know they can't was mad at me because now Nikki is who she is but Nikki will tell you wow. that I approached them to say you need to embrace this little girl yeah she is Stanley steaming uh. if I don't know nothing else that I know yeah right and that's wow. a real live true story and now for cash money before Deb Anthony right right she was with uh, what's his name? Bowlegged Lou? No. Oh. The dude, uh, one that Puff named his album after, Cash, not Cash Money, something. Huh? Fendi. 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 Oh, yeah, Fendi. that's right. Fendi, of course. Fendi. Big Fendi. Of course. Big Fendi. Dirty. Yeah, Dirty Money. Yeah, Dirty Fendi. Money. Yeah. Come, to come up, DVD. Fendi. That's the Nikki I met on my speech. Mm. I said, to, told her who I was, and she came with a little girlfriend. I remember the girl. They were two little cuties. They could have been a group. That's how they look. Yeah. Oh. That's crazy. So what's what's you got this Black Rob album and it's great. Uh what's next for you? What's next? What's coming up? What do you want to do? What are you gonna do? Well, creatively, I have a Tracy Lee and mm -hmm. Mad Rapper um album called Law and Disorder. Okay. Tracy Lee is a lawyer. And um so we're dropping as an EP. Um, we have 15 more songs or more from Black Rob, so we probably drop some of his birthday in June of 2024. Uh -huh. And right now, tentatively, that title is Till Death Do Us Part, but you know, who knows what it's going to be. Um, Business-wise, you know, my wife is a huge author now, so we, we own our own publishing company, so we self-publish, which is, okay. you know, so she she's doing really well. So that's a business that I have going on. Uh -huh. um, my boys and I, we own properties in Brooklyn and Queens and other places. So we have a, a, a family business that one of my boys spearheads. Uh -huh. because that's his world. And we donate so we can have other things going on besides me relying on these pennies. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Streaming, streaming pennies. Streaming less streaming less than a penny. Yeah. And now they say you can't get paid until you... A thousand? Yeah, a thousand. Is that... Wait a minute. What's your view on that? Is that ridiculous or is that quality control? What, what, which is it? I would say a little bit of both, but I just think... <clears throat> You're going to develop something got to develop differently i mean even trey lee with his new album he put out different whatever love is getting he tried to just put it on his site to get his fans to come engage him yeah right. it's hard to do yeah right you know uh what's the boy name um independent dude that's huge uh, uh oh six nine 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 um nine um, um uh nine 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 this thing got nine in it um oh um Independent, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Tech nine. Tech nine. Tech nine. Warehouses, merchandise, yeah. everywhere you go, you got t shirts everywhere right. and all, all that money come home. Right. All that money come home. He figured it out. Right. So like I said, my, my wife's publishing company, um, we're doing that. Got the real estate with the with the fam. And then, you know, just working on you know, I have a company that we, we trying to get off the ground where we're just trying to find a way to in simplest terms let some of people from my era and the before and after reap some rewards mm -hmm. from their their hard work mm -hmm. um and that comes in many forms mm -hmm. um it's just that is there has to be there's a saying the first one through the wall gets the bloodiest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so bars so <laughs> somebody has to you know the the the, the, the sugar hill gangs and the cold crush and the Slick Ricks and the you know, Kumo D's and them guys and the, mm -hmm. you know, 
that, that whole era, they, they went through the war for us. Yeah. And so we benefited from that. But now there's new walls put up because you just said streaming money is pennies and certain companies own 90% of the venues out here. You can't mm-hmm. even show without going to these dudes. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. You know, and, and, and the radio is still focused in on 82% negativity and, mm-hmm. you know, 1% of this. And, you know, so there has to be some people, a person or a group of people that just decides you might not like what we're doing uh, system. And some of you Negroes are going to hurt us as a result. But the ones that get it may not see the results of it for 10 or 20 years from now. Mm-hmm. But there will be a time when all these streaming dudes and all this stuff is going to disappear. Mm-hmm. And they're not going to be able to touch us because hip-hop is the only genre that I've ever been and seen that made its own economy. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. We have our own economy in every country. Mm-hmm. The brother Esco just walked in. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the international sales just mind blowing yeah. about how the effect that we have over there <clears throat> that rock and roll does not have. <clears throat> That's a fact. That in some cases sports doesn't even have. Right. So that's what I'm working on quietly. Okay. Well, not quietly. I'm working okay. On that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So production, real quick. Production. Everyone, every, well, not everyone. Would you say all about the Benjamin Benjamins is your biggest placement? It's not fair. It does not fair to say. Biggest placement. That's not a placement, though. Well, not a placement. Well, yeah. what beat are you known for? Would you say? So the Benjamins or hypnotize anyway. Right. So that's that's kind of where I'm going. Yeah. So, what's something you did that people don't know you had anything to do with beat beat, beat wise? That they surprised. Oh, you did that. I rock the party that rocks the body. He oh, okay. The- MC Light. MC Light. Mm-hmm. Or, or once again, it's on. Wow. Beanie and Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Now they. A lot of people don't know me and Ron did where I'm from. Mm. Wow. Oh, fuck them, Ron, I'm from Boston. Mm. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. Dope. Nice, oh, nice. Discography is there. It right. is. That's what, that's I'm just humble with it. It's crazy. I didn't ask nigga to do. Shot my name out. D dot D. I don't know if you ain't give a fuck. Just make sure my name is spelled right and I got my check. You got your check. from here. Right, right. Right. Angeletti hard to spell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is, really. Right. Now, I'll be letting Google correct me. Yeah. <laughs> is there any beat you heard that you wish, damn, I wish I would have done that? When that shit, I could tell you the story when that shit came on. What 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 is that? Is that the, the Jay Z? Oh, someone's. <laughs> you see the face I'm making? Yeah, that's my favorite song. Man, I went to me and Mary was on the road. I remember like yesterday, we was on the road. We were doing an interview. And Mary was, you know, she wanted to chill on the bus for a second, but, you know, she don't want to come in the spot. So I got to go in. I'm the man. I got to check on everything. And the DJ had just got whatever he got. And that shit was... Yo, what's that? So that's that new Mob D. I said, turn let me hear it. <laughs> I forgot I was working. Shut up to heaven. I was like, Shut I was working. Heaven. I was like, oh. Made a cassette copy of that. And we played that shit 45 times on the road. Bro. Right. Yeah. Um, that um Rottweiler. Oh, meth in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Rottweiler. Shout out to Rottweiler. That was good. He had a crazy sound, you know, at that time. Like, his bass lines, it was it was crazy. He definitely had a sound. Yeah, facts. I think that's missing from a lot of production now. Nobody has, a, like, a sound. Everybody's copying, like you said, the same sound. Like... Boom. 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 Oh, Boom. you wanna Boom. what? Step Boom. up, Come make clean. it. Yeah. Boom. 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 Yeah. Come clean, J. Rooter damager. Do that. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> that shit. That was crazy. Yo. That was one of the craziest Boom. beats ever. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Shout out to Preem. That's crazy. Wow. That was a mind blowing track. Shit yeah. Shit was stupid. Um, damn. Nasheem, who shot you? Who shot, mm-hmm, shot mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit right. just because of, of its simplicity. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Right. It was an MC's dream. Right. Yeah. That's a, a, a lot of those beats came about from having knowledge of music because a lot of those th songs were not a lot of them, but some of the songs were straight loops. But you had to know these obscure records to yeah. find this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. David Porter. That's David Porter sample. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and then um, from my era or a little before, uh, I forgot the title of the record. Um, which one it was? But it was EPMD. Um, um, so what you saying? No. no, no. Which one is the you? Which one used the um, BT Express joint? Oh, that's um. So what you saying? That was so. What so you what you saying? Yeah, BT yeah, Express, yeah. 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 I got plenty more. I got. Plenty oh right, more. right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. I got, I got plenty <laughs> more. But yeah. There's those, BT those, Express. You know, those, crazy. those joints. Joe Button's first joint, not, not um. Um, not pump it up. Oh, no, no. Focus. Yeah, focus. That was uh, focus. That focus. Was yeah, focus. people got about that joint. I think White Boy did that. that yeah, shit. that shit was. Woo. Turn that bass up. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was. For, for like an intro that for the streets. Was yeah. Crazy. You know, I was like, yikes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That was a boy, hard What's the boy? Um, um, uh, flashing lights. Flash. Mm. Who did that? Kanye. Kanye. And um, hot that high tech shit with um, um. Uh, uh, Talib? Uh, Talib? Yeah. Crawley, Crawley, Crawley. Yeah. Crawley. Crawley. Yeah. 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 High tech. High tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, that, that, them shits, you know, I'm, right. yeah. Them, getting like, getting like, goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Primo's catalog. <laughs> Woo! Primo's bop is insane. Right. So I know he's not from New York. but From Texas, man. He got Houston, the, Texas. But he, but he got crazy. to Brooklyn. And it did something to him. Yeah. It did something to him, Crazy. admittedly. Texas I, I don't know. get no credit. I know. <laughs> Texas, Texas get, yeah, they don't get no credit. No, Texas, Texas get credit. Texas. But his bop, yeah. when he got to the 718, yeah. yikes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, real quick, top five dead or alive rappers and producers. That's impossible. Okay. <laughs> that is impossible. Yeah. Producers is definitely Producers. impossible. Absolutely. I can't, I can't, I, we said so and many and names and in and this rap, interview. Rappers is impossible too. Yeah. Rappers too? Yeah, I mean, the, er the era. Who influenced you? Nice. Who influenced you to rap? Kumo D, Grandmaster Kaz, Slick Rick, mm. Mikey D. Mikey D from the LA Posse. Wow. D. I get rough. That's my man. D. Uh, Mikey, my boys from around my way, Lord Tamel, Superior Genius, um, uh, that I rap with, you know, Wendell, his name was Master Rock. Um, um, LL, of course, to me, LL is the blueprint. Mm -hmm. To me, LL should be the logo for hip hop, which mm -hmm. is my opinion. Mm -hmm. I know Jay Z is, you know, uh, Michael Jordan or, Le or LeBron or whichever name you put him, but <clears throat> there was a the, the greatest of all time before. A next great can be there has to be one greater than that one prior to right and so ll was that person he mm -hmm. dressed like ll yeah he looked like ll the song making was from a to z from i need a girl to mama said knock you out mm -hmm. he was thuggish ruggish he had the bitches he made money he was a pop star he, everything that you needed mm -hmm. came in the package that's true of james todd smith mm -hmm. so to me you know and that's not dick riding that's just giving props yeah, that's man, fair props yeah. too. And he was influenced by the same people that I'm influenced by, you know, the Cazes and the yeah. Mardines and the, the Melly Mel the Rock. world, the Tila Rocks and the Slick Ricks. You know, Slick Rick was an alien. He mm -hmm. he really came out too early. He was, you know, some somebody brought him here, you know, <laughs> 20 years too early because his music was so light years ahead that, you know, Cool G Rap was one of my, you know, G Rap to Definitely. this day to me if, if I had to pick a team and I just wanted to slit your throat and just slice you from head to toe. What's the name of that movie where Will Smith is in and, they, and the lady guy go collect all these wild ass niggas? They in cages and one lights fires and and with the oh white yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, you know, the uh, the is. squad, uh, yeah, Doom, Depth, uh, Doom Squad, something Doom. squad, yeah, something yeah. squad. That's G Rap is one of them dudes. Yeah, <laughs> you get one of G Rap's yeah. like just leave him alone, You're right, him by himself. And he's Doom Patrol, no, it's Doom, whatever. Whatever yeah. it's called. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, suicide squad. yeah. Suicide squad. Suicide I'm thinking squad. Doom Patrol yeah, so, Squad, yeah, yeah Suicide so, Squad. I mean, I, I mean I'm, I'm, I, I've am I'm, been blessed to be through a few errors. So for me to put a top five together, yeah. it's like, how do you leave out Busta Rhymes? Mm -hmm. How do you leave out Jada Kiss? Like, you, you just can't. Right. Or if you really want to talk about nice MCs that will never get props to somebody like a Pharrell Munch. Pharrell oh, yeah, right. shout out to him. Or even Thought. Well, Shout out to him. Right. That's a like, fact. You know, will his name come up in the top five? I'm sure for some purists, they will. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, 
in general, it's, so it's impossible to pick up. I feel you. Uh, okay. to, for me, it is, right, you know, right. but I do have Favorites. niggas that I think are just otherworldly. Right. Jay, Big, Nas, right. Eminem, like otherworldly to me. Like, right. they shouldn't even, it's unfair to compare. What about Big L? Nah, I wasn't a huge fan of Big L. Nah, it was too, it was a little bit too ABC for me. Okay. But, well, a pun. Huh? Pun. Just, you know, again, record making. Right. Pun was definitely nice, but it's you know it's I'm I'm an English major, mm. and I would like to be able to A B C D E F G H I J. I would like to do that on mm. records. That that just when you think about records, longevity wise, right. most of them we can speak English. Got you. Most gotcha. of them, most of them have English language in them that we can understand and sing along with. Right. Most of them. Basics. So even Hammer. Even him. Hammer don't get his props, man. Love him. Man, we be trying to get him his props. Yeah, he don't. He, it's like he don't want his props. He don't. He, he don't. I love the whole West Coast movement. Right. Too short. All that shit they did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, th th there's a style that Big L had that reminded me of West Coast, East Coast rap. Like right. it was mm. really, you know, like you listen to them dudes from the West Coast, man. That shit is English language to a T. It's right. it, it's. Simple. That bitch is a slut. Slut is a hoe. Ho. It, it's you don't have to figure <laughs> nothing out. There's no dictionary. There's no thesaurus, right, right. nigga. I'll slice your throat, nigga. Gangsters, gangster. It's right. English, and we love it. Right. It's when the sympathetical, radical, satirical, medical, radical, radical, satirical, radical, radical. Who the fuck are y'all talking to? <laughs> oh no. Who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was talking. They were talking to me. I'm gonna tell okay, you. Okay, yeah, there's there, there, there's there's a sect there's a sect of people, particularly white boys. You ever see white boys rappers? Why a lot of them like to rap real fast? You ever notice that? So when this boy came around, um, that's hot right now. What's his name? Um, from Atlanta. I mean, from Kentucky. Oh, jo jo Jack Harlow. Yeah. Why he's a phenomenon? Cause it's like happy birthday to you. I speak English to you. <laughs> There's no need to make it jumbled. <laughs> I make it records for you. Yeah, yeah. That's what we want. Right. Even Big Daddy Kane slowed it up on um ha ain't no half stepping. Like he was like, yo, that's his that's his hit hit record right there. And I'm even talking about the language. Do you hear the language that some of our constituents talk? Like no disrespect to that. I call them the SOBs crew. You listen to the language. Listen, I mean, seriously. Right. These niggas is using words that they know they don't use in their everyday <laughs> language. Come on, fam. That, Yo, that's, that's one of the biggest yeah, that right. they have with us. Yeah. We kept it so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It was almost insulting. Right. Yeah. Ladies, my Mercedes, whole four in the back, two if you fat. Right. <laughs> Yo, you, you kind of right. You... How, how simple is that? And funny and simple and real. Yeah, right. You ever had a Mercedes? Yeah. Two fat bitches get back there real yeah. comfortable. Yeah, that's in the big six hundred. Yeah. But if you got four little bitches, they can fit back there too with the little mini skirts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my point is, <laughs> but then you got other rappers that'll take a record and the beat will come on and the first thing they say is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Symposium, Mom and Rosium, and that's the I did Nosium. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Plutonium. Yeah, yeah plutonium. Out, out the plutonium. Oh man, I guess you didn't like cannabis then. <laughs> cannabis is dope, yo. Cannabis was cannabis dope. Was that's what I do. Cannabis spoke English. He just had flows. Yeah, yeah. it's true. It's true. Cannabis was nice, yo. Oh man, D Dot, you got to come back up here, man. Anytime, One World Studios, anytime, yeah, anytime, for man. sure, man. Anytime. Salute you, definitely. Salute. And you a stand up guy, and I, I can really appreciate and respect that. I appreciate man. Yeah, that, man. Good energy always. I appreciate that, man. Thanks yeah. for having me, man. Black Rob in stores now, man. Shout Shout out. Get it, man. Black Rob, rest in peace. Yes. And G Depp will be out soon enough. Yeah, God willing, Depp will be home soon. Shout out to everybody who helped us out. My man Riz, Jamal, shout out. Shout out to everybody that just helped out. Oh, Bishop, the engineer, can't forget Bishop on the boards. My man mixed 35 records for us. Mm. So I gotta shout Bish out. You know what I mean? And just everybody that helped. If I left you out, you know I love you, but everybody that helped out. You know what yeah. I mean? Anybody that helped out, everybody was there. They, they showed love. I appreciate it. Very nice. Man, respect. 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 Love, love, love. Salute. Yes, sir. All right.